Okay, I just want to make this quick video on how to change the boot order of your laptop. Actually, this is on video part two. I made a video about, I guess, about a couple of weeks ago on. Made a video a couple of weeks ago on how to remove your optical drive on HP 6360B and add more storage space. So this is just a follow-up video to part two to show you how to change the boot order and if you are using two hard drives with two separate operating systems on them. So right now I'm using this HP LeakBook. I'm not using my 6360B, but it's basically the same laptop. So it works, works the same way, has the same BIOS settings. So the first thing you want to do if you are using two hard drives and each hard drive has its own operating system so right now I'm right now I had an optical drive in here so I'm going to remove it real quick and I'm just going to use this drive this is actually from my Lenovo workstation so of course I won't be able to boot up with the operating system on this because it's using the Lenovo drivers and a configuration of Lenovo uh, workstation but this is just an example to show you how it works if you want to switch between operating systems using two hard drives and one laptop. So I'm just going to put it in. Again, you know, this is a great reason to buy a laptop that has an optical drive. Even if you don't use optical drives, you can change it into a storage device or into a separate um, operating system. Have dual operating systems to boot. Let's see, cut this off. So what you want to do, just put it in. There we go. See, it fits in. Turn it on. So when you turn this laptop on, the first thing you want to do is go into BIOS. And depending on what type of laptop you're using, if you're using a Lenovo workstation, to enter BIOS, it's F1. If you're using an HP ProBook or Elite Book, it's actually F10. So it basically, this will work with just any, any type of laptop that has an optical drive built in. So you want to start it up. And make sure you hit F10 pretty hard. So it will go into BIOS. Okay. There we go. Okay, so right now I'm just kept capturing this directly from my camera and I'm not using any um, software to do this any video capture software I'm just doing it directly from my camera so this is why you see the kind of blue screen and it's just to show you so once you enter BIOS and ask you do you want to change BIOS actually I did this um, before earlier so I'm doing this again just to show you so I just click cancel okay once you are into BIOS First thing you want to do is go to system configuration. And you can actually either use your trackpad or you can use just the arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm going to use the um, keys on my keyboard, the arrow key. Okay, there you go. Once you select it, you can move the arrow keys back and forth to select just like this. I'm hitting the right arrow key. Then once you go to systems configuration, you want to go down to boot options so you press the down key the down arrow key there you go then you hit enter okay once you are here where it says boot options what you want to do is basically leave this part alone that says setup menu delay basically that's just um, telling you you know how many seconds it's going to delay to go to the next setting go to um, your CD-ROM drive your SD card UBS, you know, drive, etc. So you just want to hit the arrow keys on your keyboard and hit down until you get to legacy boot order that's highlighted in blue. So once you are there, this is where you're going to change your boot options or your boot order. So to select this, this is actually a little bit um, trickier than using the uh, Lenovo laptops. Lenovo laptops are really simple to change the boot order of your um, computer but you know this HP is a little bit more complicated so what you want to do once you are here to select which one you want to um, boot up first as you can see um, I set the USB CD-ROM to boot up first second is the notebook upgrade bay 
So basically that's what you want to choose since you have a hard drive in your base system. This is the one that you want to select first to boot up first. And then the next one is the hard drive. So it's already set but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so once you hit the arrow key down till you get to Legacy Boot Order, to select these options that you see of your um, hard drive, CD-ROM drive, USB drive, or SD card, you want to hit Enter. Once this part is highlighted blue, just hit Enter. Now you are able to select which one you want to boot first. You see these two arrows right here? That means you can select the order of each piece of hardware and the tricky part with this is that um, you have to actually use the plus and the minus key that is on your keyboard and that right there is basically next to your um, set of numbers on your keyboard okay right here this is your plus and your minus these are the two keys that you go to use to select these um, drives right here go back up so you use those two keys plus or minus to select which one that you want to change the boot order on to show you there you go you hit the, I'm hitting the minus key as you can see I'm going down to CD-ROM so if I want to change the boot order and put that first put the the bay drive first all I have to do is hit the plus on the minus key and scroll up or down to the drive so right now let's see okay it's, it's at the top so all I have to do is just hit this and you hit enter to accept and the boot order is there so if I want to change the boot order for example I just hit enter and I use the plus and minus keys and if I want to put the hard drive first as you can see a little bit complicated um, you have to hit the up and down arrow keys and then to change it you have to hit the minus or the plus just like this um, okay there you go as you can see I just selected the hard drive to go first so basically that's what you have to do to change the boot order you have to go into BIOS go into system configuration then go down to legacy BIOS hit enter and then once you hit enter you use the arrow keys to select to go down and then you hit the plus or minus key to move the item that you want to boot first so I put it back on a hard drive to boot first so if you were using the second hard drive, which is your bay, you would just go down here where it says upgraded bay, and then you would just switch it. You hit the plus or minus. Let's see. And there you go. I hit the plus and it went to notebook upgrade bay. So basically that, that is your um, optical drive bay. So basically it's gonna boot from your optical drive first and then if that doesn't work or if there's nothing in your bay drive it's going to boot second to your hard drive so that's it that's how you do it that's how you change your boot order in your laptop if you have an HP laptop and the Lenovo works pretty much the same way it's just more simpler using the, the, um, the Lenovo bio so that's about it so right now I'm just going to um, change the boot setting and I just hit the minus sign on the keyboard and it took me and moved it right back to um, the hard drive bin first so once that's done all you have to do is hit save you hit enter and then you hit save use your cursor on your mouse pad and the thing is it's going to ask you to save actually twice because once you hit save it's going to ask you do you want to save again and I don't know why it does this you hit yes and see it sends you back to the menu again but you already saved it so what you want to do is click exit once you click exit then again it's going to ask you do you want to save the changes and you already did it but um just say yes again and there you go now it's going to boot up to the hard drive or to the main hard drive of your laptop and this may come up on your screen you know lunch startup repair recommended 
the reason why it says this um, Windows error is just the fact that um, you're switching from hard drive to hard drive so it's, that's going to occur every once in a while but once you start doing this uh, it's going to go away so I just select start windows normally and there you go so that's basically that's it actually right on the end of this video uh, my camera overheated again and this is one of the problems if you have a Sony a6000 um, when you videos are over 10 minutes the uh, camera shuts down because it overheats so um, it booted back to the home screen and also here's something that you can do um, this is a nice little um, trick if you do have a hard drive from any laptop and let's say the hard drive is good but your laptop got damaged you can actually still view and remove the files from your hard drive without having your old computer log in it's kind of cool um, so basically once you have the hard drive in your optical drive you can actually view files from a hard drive that's been you know removed from a computer because the computer is damaged or doesn't work anymore so basically you don't have to have that computer to access the information that's on a hard drive so it's already in there I'm going to show you real quick you just hit the start menu and you hit computer and there you go see I have two hard drives and this is my other hard drive from my workstation my Lenovo as you can see it's a it's a one gig hard drive and you just click on that and we'll actually open up the hard drive and you will have two folders yeah so this is a cool way um, if you have a hard drive that's uh, your laptop damaged but you want to get the information off your um, hard drive and all your files so all you have to do is just get a hard drive bay, put the um, hard drive in there and uh, put it in, in your optical drive bay in your laptop. And now you can just view the files. You can actually um, add or remove files or copy them to your laptop. As you can see, it recognized the hard drive. Even though it's from a different operating system, it still work. So this is a hard drive that I have in my bay. This is my Lenovo. Um, my hard drive with my Lenovo drivers on it and system just double click it and there's the files right there you can access all your files from this hard drive and you click, double click on user and it will so show the um, the name of the computer the user and then that's where all your folders are stored that's where your audio your videos your documents are all stored so you can access basically all your files on your hard drive that you used on your other computer Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Goodbye.